This week's Zolt Har predicts you will see the light of Edge Lit Acrylic. Ha 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 ha. Good to be here. Yeah, we're talking acrylic this week. It's one of your favorite subjects, one of your favorite materials to work with. I do love acrylic. And it's because you're scared of the dark and you found ways of making acrylic light up like a nice light, night light for you. Yeah, those things came together, you know, in a beautiful <laughs> mesh. My love for acrylic and fear of the dark, and we're making edge with lights. So show them the, uh, the acrylic as it is. When you get the acrylic, this is Romark uh, Flamingo. Yeah, this is a Flamingo. And so it looks like it's glowing already. Yeah, that edge already catches all that light and then disperses it on that edge. And um, it's really cool. Now, clear acrylic doesn't do that. But, but when you etch it, it actually, like the Zoltar, it picks up all that light from the LED screen. What made you think of, uh, inspired you for uh, Zoltar Speaks? So my friend Michelle sent me a picture of one of those Zoltar machines in the back of the truck. <laughs> and it's just turned into this thing where every time we see one, we just send a random picture. And uh, it just inspired me. And I didn't want to make this whole little thing, but I thought it would be cool to bring the fortune teller back to him. And he's got this little table with the uh, explosion of the tarot cards coming out. And those are the uh, the old fortune telling machines from like the, uh, the 70s, and you put a coin in, and he would give you a random uh, prediction or something like yeah, that? Yeah, no, it's just Exclusive. Oh, exclusive to you, to you right, because yeah. he actually has psychic powers. Yes, he does. That's, <laughs> that's why he moves the way he does. That is pretty cool. I like the tasseling. How did you do the tasseling? Is that also acrylic that you've done down there? Yeah, so the tasseling is just old acrylic, and, uh, and then the top was just a purple acrylic that I did a wash of gold acrylic paint on top of and then washed the excess off, so it got caught in that rest. So we're going to take a few exam look at a few examples of what other people have done with uh, edge lighting acrylic, and then we're going to show you how to do it yourself, right? We are. So All right. Let's take a look at the examples. All right, that looks like a lamp, but it's uh, it's kind of an illusion. It is an illusion. These came out about five years ago, and it's kind of started this whole like maker acrylic based edge lit uh, sign thing, and they're really cool. But that's just a two dimensional. I I'm not seeing an actual. If we turn that, it would be flat. It would be. It does have that edge of that 3D look, so it's got a, a unique look, but when you look at it straight on, it's just like a line. And where have they put the LCD uh, lights in that one? So that one's got a single LED strip that goes outward on the acrylic, and that, that's how it's doing that. It doesn't go against it. That looks amazing. Yeah, I think that's cool. And the same company does this little owl guy, which isn't 3D, but I think he's really cool. So you could have desk lamps for uh, older people and you know teenagers, but you could also make uh, night lights, like we mentioned, that, yeah, that you have all over your house. Yeah. yeah. And then another three-dimensional one, it's like an old light bulb with a, like the fluorescent light bulbs. They just take a 3D file and then show the wireframe and then just take the two dimensions from that and engrave it and cut it out. So that, again, it's just flat. I can see all sorts of designs for that, DNA you know, designs yeah. and things like that. They keep going. I've seen, like, if you Google these, it just forever. And then now you look at this, and it's still a 3D thing, but it's got that base, and that base is important because you can buy those on Amazon for, like, $10. So this has become so popular that you can just buy the base, Yeah. and then you cut your own stuff, and they have the base ready to go. Yeah, you can have the whole thing of your own. But you, you don't buy the base, do you? No, no. Because you, you, you have a laser cutter. I do. Yes. What size? Uh, 48 by 36 laser You've got the big laser cutter. I do. I do. Let's talk about it more. All right. So there we uh, have the Bioshock. I know that game. So that's <clears throat> it's one of my favorites. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so you can do anything you really want, and you don't have to do the exact cut of the 
you know, whatever the design may be, you can see that goes straight up to the arms. Mm -hmm. You don't want it too fragile, you know, when it's moving around. And remember, this is something you can make. You can't sell something like this, but you can make this for yourself, make this for fans yeah. all, all day long. If your kids love that game, mm -hmm. why not make them? You can give it as gifts and stuff to people. Yeah, gifts are the best. And then we have, like, a more traditional sign where this is going to be, like, in a bar or a club. That looks and great. I, I think, yeah, that would be in a man cave, too. Like, right. Really, really cool. <clears throat> Such a clean look. Yeah, I don't think you can get a cleaner look. It's, on a it's very professional. I mean, that's as good as any signage I've seen in any bar. Not that I I've been in bars, but no, no. but that's I that is really that is a really good. Look, yeah, and then this, <laughs> this isn't laser cut, but you could easily laser cut this, and I think that's just a cool thing. Yeah, it's got a cool look to it. Um, it's probably extruded acrylic, some something like that. But I really like this. One. That could be a laser cut project Easy, if you wanted super to. Easy. That's really and nice. this one is a shelf. Oh, wow. Which so you can light up on shelves. Yeah. And this is very plain, which I like that simple mm -hmm. look. But you could etch those and make them any shape that you wanted. Um, put your collectibles on there. Put your Thundercats on there. My Thundercats are so mighty, they will they will just cascade down through that. You will need thicker uh, yeah. acrylic for the, um, uh, the well, Thundercats. Good thing you can cut half the acrylic on a pro. That is a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. <laughs> Oh, and, and as a safety device as well here, so, yeah, yeah. so light up your hallways. Yeah, very practical, uh, not the coolest, but it is very clean. I mean, I've seen buildings with things that look just about exactly like that. Yeah, I, I actually found one, and I have one in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I could have made it, it's a lot easier just to find it for a <laughs> Oh. And this, this is actually a dithered photo on top of the acrylic. What is that, the moon? That, that is Earth. That's Earth. Yeah, I really like this one. It's super clean. It doesn't have to have that like three-dimensional like computer look. That's just a very clean looking. So truck. You could take it from sort of a sci-fi look. You could make that into a crystal ball with a dragon in it or something yeah, like uh, that. Speaking of, speaking of. Speaking of. You could do that same crystal ball on the same base that we're giving you today for that pot. Be really cool. So we're gonna take That's a look. Just the base. We're gonna take a look at how. We're gonna take a look at your homemade base, and then we're gonna take a look at uh, how you put these lights together. Yeah, yeah. Which is easier than I thought it would be. It's extremely easy. It's like one of the easiest things we've ever shown people how to do here. I know, I know. So, we'll put Zolt on the base. And then Only with his permission. He knew you would do that. He predicted that you would put him away, so he's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the other camera. There you are. So those are strips you can buy. You can buy these strips in a roll, and you simply, they have little places where you can cut them, and it shows you exactly where to cut them. So you can go down to like two, two LCD lights, if yeah, you wish. Yeah, that's all you need. And what I did was use this as a guide to kind of see where it's going to go. And that's super straightforward. And I just cut it there, and then you have your power cord. You can put that to a... Uh, a battery or uh, a power strip or something like that to a yeah, wall socket? Yeah, you can use uh, what I've used for this guy, actually. I like this one, too. <laughs> this is an edge lift, but it's back lit. Yeah. I really like this one. That's but acrylic front, and you have a, a wooden frame. Yeah. And this one just has a uh, D battery, and then this guy has a power supply. And when you buy these actual project, uh, LEDs, you get them with the power supply. How much are the, uh, the LED strips to buy? Like $12 for a single roll. And do you do you glue those on, or are they just they have adhesives? They're, they're sticky. So That's they're nice. All sticky, which is very nice. So here's your your base that you made with a laser cutter. Yeah, I mean why not? It's just just made it in layers stuff. and stacked it. Yeah. And, uh, and then all you have nice. to do is hide it inside of here. So you want to leave a an indention, a space inside. Yeah, leave the space inside. And what I did was actually drill the hole in the side. Of you, know, you could have designed that like with it, like uh, maybe a space, but I thought just drilling a hole would be nice and clean. It's all ready together. I actually put this together with wood glue, so it's nice and strong. And then I'll just place the power through the hole you drilled. Through the hole. And then I will hide the LED. Plug it in. We've, we've used this one a lot. We've abused it. 
It all sort of notches in. There we go. There we go. So you'll see, I made this clear so you guys can see. And the file that comes with this has a mark, a uh, vector mark, so you know exactly where to put your LEDs, right? That's convenient. Yeah, right, right in the center under your actual edge lip of the lip. And then we'll just screw this guy on here. And this will be super exciting. Now this is gonna. This is just like those lamps. It's gonna create the same kind of effect as we are looking at the, the, the 2D, 3D lamps that we were seeing. Yeah, we'll, we'll put this guy together. I won't put all the screws in there, but you'll notice that this actual plate here has rasters. It actually has engravings above the holes. So when you see the file, you'll notice that, and that's because you want your screw to have the head inset. You don't want that sitting on top. On top, right. That's, how did you do that? So I just put a uh, black fill circle on top of the vector cut. Very straightforward. I've, I've seen you do a lot of things, but that's the first time I've seen you do that kind of cut with a laser cutter. And what's really cool is I did another pass out of focus and rounded off those <laughs> Yeah, they are round. That's what I was noticing is how you can feel the roundness in them. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, you make that bevel, and it's uh, you can do the same thing if you have a simple engraving. You can actually round out those edges by bringing it out of focus on acrylic, and it doesn't give you that white hazy look. It gives a more clear. Look. Why doesn't that work on wood? Why isn't that going to work on wood then? It doesn't work on wood because wood doesn't react like that. It would just burn away, and uh, the char wouldn't look as nice. So. So you've designed that you want it to touch the, uh, or as close to the lights as you can get the, the piece of acrylic? Yeah, you want them on the edge. So I'm just going to put this guy in. And there we go. Put this guy in. And look, we will plug her in. And if I didn't break the connection... What? Yeah, we'll take the turns off the lights oh. real quick. No, I think I broke the connection. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. So I want to make sure when you're putting the, the, the lid on, the bottom on, that you don't break your connection. Yeah, and that's why no I made it clear so I could see where the connection yeah, we've, was broke. We've, we've opened this thing up a lot and, and plugged it in and plugged it out. You know, yeah. You won't have to do that. Do it once and it'll be fine. And then you just plug it in from the, uh, yeah, the power connection. Here we go. Or is it unplugged? Huh. Maybe the power supply is bad. Can you just use it for the other one? Yeah. yeah well, this well, LED is <laughs> not your, working. I do have the other one. Here, so we'll show them this. This one you got. That works. You got Th that's the, uh, live television. <laughs> This stuff you made from the Romark uh, Maker Pack that we give away with the Muse, right? Yeah, we have the Maker Pack, and we kind of wanted a project that used all four pieces. What are those four pieces? So you have your white acrylic, you have the thin blue lucents from Romark. I love and that lucent. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, the uh, pink flamingo and the wood. And what I wanted to do was just make a project so you don't start off with just a simple, oh, here's one material project. You have all of them all at once. But it was a little much. Turned out to be a very advanced project. Yeah, very advanced. So Not so much for you, but. No, so advanced that like it would frustrate people maybe. Yeah. So <laughs> we cut it out. But I think this is a good example of that a, looks a great. different let's edgelet type. Let's go ahead and take a look at it with the lights. Because I don't want. Oh. That one? That, that's beautiful. See, I, I wanted it not just a straight piece. It actually has, you know, another dimension in there. That's quite a showpiece. You want to win the, uh, the weekly contest, you Make go something ahead. like that. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, there's a, it's really amazing how much just a little bit of light makes these acrylic projects just 
really, really beautiful. And in complete darkness, it really, really lights up. Like, especially this bottom with the lucents showing through. I, I just think it's cool. I'd rather have somebody do something different than, you know, the same exact thing all the time. I'm convinced now, acrylic is cool. It is the coolest. It is. <clears throat> so we also, if you want to hear more about acrylic, um, make sure to check out uh, Laser Talk that we did this week. It's yes. all on our YouTube, right? We have Laser Talk all about acrylic, the tips you can use uh, when doing acrylic. Considerations, like uh, one of the big ones I picked up on is uh, fumes. Acrylic kind of uh, has a yes. harsh uh, fumes. So you want to make sure those are exhausted. Now it is safe to smell those fumes, but it does give people headaches and it doesn't smell so great. So exhaust it out of your house exhaust. or garage or into a fume extractor or into a fume extractor you don't want to be breathing in any fumes really but especially stinky fumes right on yeah and make sure to look when you get your muse that you've got your uh, your maker pack in there and you can go right into doing some edge lit acrylic stuff very true <laughs> and uh <coughs> yeah so I'll see, see everybody next uh, week i think i think <coughs> until next time keep making Hey guys, if you guys want to subscribe to the videos, it's right over here. And if you want to watch more, you can watch more videos. Thanks.